Hey guys, so welcome to episode two of the Mass Monster series. Unfortunate news that has happened. Right after I posted the first episode of the Mass Monster series, I got fucking sick. I got the flu, and I haven't trained. This is my first training day since like that video, basically. So I haven't trained in ten days. I lost seven pounds. <laughs> I didn't. This this sickness was awful. I haven't been this sick since fuck, maybe since middle school. It was really bad. Like, I would wake up shivering. Freezing cold. One day I threw up three times in the morning. Could barely eat saltine crackers. It was awful. Um, Flame in my chest. But today's the first day I feel better. And by the way, if you are sick, don't go to the fucking gym. Try to get better first. I had a lot of messages. People like, around this time were getting sick, and they're like, "Oh my god, dude! Like you messaging like that you were sick as well? Like because I posted on my Instagram about it. They were like, that makes me feel so much better because I'm in my head. Like, I'm gonna lose muscle. I'm like." Yeah, like you're gonna lose weight. Like I lost weight, but you don't want to like, get fucked up and be like, "Oh my god, my pure hard prize earned muscle." Like just worry about your health first and get healthy, and then go back to the gym. I wasn't even thinking about food. Like I would eat maybe once or twice a day, and it was there were so small meals. So was it bodybuilding productive or helpful? Not at all. I was just trying to focus on getting healthy, which at the end of the day was my goal. And I'm pretty much healthy besides a little bit of a nose, a little congestion. So. First day back in the gym, we're following the split. We wanted to uh, stay on our split, so I'm hitting chest today. And if you guys know, my chest fucking sucks. It sucks dick. Which I have really cool news. Next week, Kyle's, like, the guy that taught Kyle everything he knew. Mentor. His mentor is actually coming to help me learn my chest. I spoke to him on the phone, because we were supposed to do it while I was sick, but I, I was sick, so it wasn't a good idea. And I was like, yeah, hey, like, I want to record it and like, show like, my viewers like, you know, what's going on. He's like a hardcore, like, old school type of dude. He's like, I don't care about the fucking views. He's like, listen, I'll do this for you. I was like, I have mad respect for that. Like, thank you. I'm like, all right. So I'll see if I can record anything like that. But he's going to help me relearn every single mechanic for my chest. So maybe don't take the advice in this chest video today. Maybe in a week from now you can. But right now, <laughs> we'll see. Let's go. Don't wait. This night's almost over. So the Spotify like rap came up. Write down in the comments what you think my music taste is. What I post in my YouTube videos is not even close to my music taste. What's this one say? My, with one song, this was because of Brett. Chicago sports hits, Chicago Bulls theme song, 216 times. One day during my lift, I literally just like me and Kyle had someone repeat. Like, it wasn't one workout. day, it was, for, it was like, like a week. Two weeks, yeah. But, Swaco. 0.1% baby. He's a pop punk guy. Brand new pop punk guy. I like him. Big fan. My top artist. Swaco, poor Stacey, Jade, and Lincoln Park, Machine Gun Kelly. When I saw that, I was like, holy shit, that's pretty accurate. I mean, obviously it's accurate, but I love pop punk. Pop punk. That's like my favorite genre of music. The like 2000s era plus the new gen pop punk. Really good. But Hold on. Look but, at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. Oh, incline bench. Yeah, Ali thought it was a whatever. My first time incline benching since my incident where I dropped 300 pounds on my chest. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes today. That's it. Okay, so before I'm getting into my chest workout, I pre-exhausted my chest, I warmed it up, make sure I had blood flow into it. I did some pec flies, then I went to a Smith machine. And what I did is I started off low, and I did about 12 push-ups, moved it up a notch, did 12, 12, 12, and 12. Did that five times. So I did 60 reps, got a big pump in my chest, feels really good. I'm just sitting on my workout too, go to absolute failure, see how many times, tried about 12 at each different level. Yeah, I saw some Seth Barossi, one of his test videos. It's basically to, just don't be a bitch, just don't give up. That's the whole premise of it. So, testing my, <laughs> testing my strength on incline, that's what I'm working with today for a 3x6, 175. You had, to, you, had to make the, you had to make sure it was 175 on the bar, babe? Yeah. 175 on here. It sucks getting weak, bro, it really does, but this is the lowest bedrock point of the physique, so. All right, 
That felt much better than the last set. That was my second set. We got eight. Okay, so we just did our heavy compound lift for our chest to the incline press to so the three by eight. And then I move on to my second press. I like to do two incline presses. I realized that has helped my chest grow. So I did a top set of eight with the 80s. Now I'm doing a rest pause intensifier. If you don't rest pause set, it is basically take away, go just shy of failure. Let's say I'm gonna aim for about like 10 reps. I rest about 15, 20 seconds, go again to failure. Maybe I get six, seven, whatever it is. Rest again, then I go again. So it's a lot of reps in a short period of time, limiting our rest period. So that's what rest pause it is. I'm gonna do it now. What that is, is we're just basically focusing on a pump now. We did our heavy presses. Now we're going to more getting that pump, that stretch after all those presses, get blood flowing to our titties. Okay, that's my best pressing movement. I just went up to the top set there. I got third, 14, 15? I don't know, something over 12. I'm done here. Now I'm gonna go into those push-ups I talked about in my workout. I'm gonna to go to failure. And do you that. talked about push-ups? Yeah, yeah. So those ladder push-ups all the way to failure. Just try to be as tense as I can, basically don't be a fucking bitch. Okay, that's it. Where's the flat push-ups? I'm not doing those. Why? They're hard. I know, it's Seth Bros. He prescribed them. All right, well, listen to Mr. Seth. Okay, so we wrapped up that workout. That felt really good, like 
to actually work out again for the first time in nine days. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys like tips if you're trying to gain weight back, if you lost weight for whatever circumstance, sports, sickness, whatever the fuck happened to you. But to go over the workout, I started with incline barbell press, which is gonna be my compound lift for chest that I'm focusing on. We're gonna start off this mass musters with the hardcore 175 for a three by eight. We're proud of that number. Um, I moved on to Incline dumbbell press, which we did like intensifier, which was a rest pause set. We did more of a pump focus. We did a fly, cable fly, supersetted into a cable press. That was focusing on a lot of blood flow. After that, yeah, I did the Panada uh, close grip chest press. I finished off with the uh, push ups, which was good. Then I moved on to a little bit of shoulders. This was now more just volume. I wasn't really focused on any compound lifts here, none of that bullshit. I did side laterals. I wasn't really programmed, I'll be honest, because I uh, just trying to get blood flow back into all my body parts. But I stuck to the program. So I did side laterals, didn't really count the volume on that. And then I did I did rear delt flies, then finished off with some biceps, and that was it for this push day. For some reason, I do like to do the opposite. I like to do biceps on push and triceps on pull. That's it. I'm going home to now do cardio because I'll be honest, I didn't do I didn't do I barely walked when I was sick. And we're gonna focus on trying to get down six meals today because I didn't eat two meals. So we're gonna eat hopefully six meals today. That's the goal here. We're gonna stick to maybe like 50 to 75 grams of carbs a meal and just try to get it down. There was a quote I saw the other day and it was like, get 1% better each day. And I always saw that quote and whenever I was on my highs in like bodybuilding, I never really thought about it. But being that I'm kind of at like a, a lower because I've never been this like weak and you know small, that quote kind of like, I'm like, wow, I'm really gonna follow that because baby steps, baby steps will slowly get me back to where I used to be. I can't just fucking shoot and get, Back to 224, it's gonna take small little small little wins to get back to the, the big old good standard I used to be myself. So that's the that's what I'm gonna follow. And if you guys follow that too, let me know. I seriously, I got one of my friends from high school come up to me today. He's like, hey bro, like, I love the Mass Monster series. And I was like, thank you. And I got a bunch of DMs. So the support on this is pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. Oh, this could be really bad. Almost an accident. Um, the support means a lot to me, seriously. Appreciate it, guys. If you guys wanna send me your updates on Instagram of like, Yo, like I just got this, send it to me, dude. That's, that's super cool. To, okay, gotta move over. Oh, you little shit, man. Motherfucker. So, motivation for you fucking guys. Well, for myself. I'm looking at an old photo of myself, and I was like, Jesus Christ, I look so good here. There you go. Lex's face. Yeah, I chose Lex's face. I weighed two, let me just check the date. Hang on, fellas, discard changes. I was like around 215, 217, that era. Now I'm flatter, fatter, and 15 pounds less. <laughs> it's so upsetting. Dude, I was, I was just talking to Allie about that time period, like what I was doing in life, and it was mass monster. Like that was definition mass monster life. It was crazy. I was getting three pounds a week. I'd wake up and I'd be like, like iron, I need iron, like train. I wake up, do fast cardio. I'd pound over 125 grams of carbs for breakfast, 125 grams of carbs pre-workout. I'd enjoy crispy treats. I'd go to the gym, do pump pump products. I would take intra carbs. Then I'd have a meal with me in the car. I would eat when I came home, like on my ride home, that's three meals in. I'd come home, wait like 30 minutes, eat another meal, fourth meal in. Then every two hours, like on the dot, I would eat my meals and they were the exact same shit every day. Then I have a seventh meal. And I'd go to sleep and I remember I'd be aching like a bitch, dude. I hurt so much. Tying my shoes was, a, I'd get you to put my socks on me. Mm -hmm. Remember, I'd be like, <sighs> like I was gaining weight fast. My mom was even like, like you're kind of gaining weight a little fast. I'm like, I know, but like I'm lean, like it's crazy. So I'm gonna stick with it. Damn. I hate my facial hair. Yeah, <laughs> I hate it too. If you guys are around my age and you have facial hair like this, like how annoying is it? And it's so itchy. I hate it. Awful. Now that I'm like growing up, getting, getting hairier, it's kind of crazy. Weird. It's, it's, uh, That's if it is. 100% is. That's if it is. Your reaction gave it away. I think. Through the little details I put into it. Or you just came up with that in your mind and it worked out. Maybe, maybe. All right, so we're at Whole Foods. I want to pick up a couple um, groceries here and basically explain why I'm eating the way I am and why it's gonna be beneficial for me getting back the weight I lost. So, nonetheless, let's go to Whole Foods. <laughs> Grocery item number one. Four Haas large avocados. She looks so proper about these carrots, how it has the fucking green. 
not proper. Bananas from Costa Rica. I would be getting orange juice, but I get it from Sam's Club. And Sam's Club has the best natural orange juice. Yo, shout out to the CEO, Nell's leader. This is the best bread you can possibly get. I like to get the San Francisco sourdough. Ready for this? Ingredient list. Organic wheat flour, filtered water, salt. That's it. That's great. That's crazy. It's just great bread. Kind of soft one. That's the only reason why we came to Whole Foods, to be honest, was for this bread. Because not many other stores sell this. I don't know many other stores why I come to Whole Foods. These are my two favorite nut butters. And this one specifically, I mentioned this in previous videos back when I used to live in LA. Artisans, raw walnut butter. It's crazy good. This small thing's expensive as hell. But walnut butter, it's crazy. It's so good. So, if you have it in a store near you, I'd recommend it. Um, I am going to be getting one of these bone broths here. This is a great brand. Shout out to Jeff Perry. Um, you want to check the back of these. Ready for this? Water, beef bones. You want, you want bones in your bone broth. I don't think there's actual bones, but it kind of like makes the bone broth, you know. What I'm going to be doing with this is the vertical diet. There's a big monster mash with sweet potatoes, beef, bone broth, make it a little bit like wetter, easier to eat, you guys know. So, the wetter, the better. The wetter, the better. <laughs> salt take sea salt. Look it up, very good sea salt food. Or Whole Foods organic little soy boy. One of the meals on this mass monster series I will be eating is going to be this simple rice and beef. That's right, rice and beef. We're eating Force of Nature beef, which I've talked about in a previous video, but if you haven't seen that, I will educate you. This beef is called Ancestral Blend. You see that? It says the word Ancestral. What that means is there means it has liver in it. You get your daily needs of liver, the nutrients from that, and I'm gonna be eating a pound of red meat a day. See, I ended up eating the sweet potato. Yeah, Very happy, yeah? Monster Mash. Monster Mash. In here I have the rest of the beef, um, 50 grams of carbs from rice, and one sweet potato, which is like over 25 grams of carbs. And then I superseted this whole thing with putting some bone broth in here. That bone broth I bought, well, it's in here to make it a little wetter for me to eat. And yeah, that's basically what I'm eating, kind of grocery foods, kind of clickbait for this video, um, for bulking. Hope you enjoyed.